Tonight, CNN has learned America's intelligence and military leaders are watching Kim Jong-un with growing unease, fearing the young North Korean leader with questionable stability and a penchant for violence may have now perfected building a nuclear weapon and may be preparing to test it. CNN has learned Kim's regime could be preparing to launch a mobile ballistic missile, something it has never done. One long-range missile, which officials believe the North Koreans could fire, could hit American territory on Guam or the Aleutian Islands. But there's another, more frightening possibility. A scary scenario is that North Korea may launch its KN-14 ICBM. We've just learned that they've tested the ICBM engine. It may have new fuels that give it far greater energy and range. And with that range, the KN-14 can possibly reach Washington, D.C. The North Koreans would first have to flight test that missile, which they likely haven't done yet. But the concern tonight is that the regime is accelerating its nuclear weapons and missile capability under a leader who's becoming more warlike each week. A U.S. intelligence official telling CNN Kim is challenging his international rivals with provocative and threatening behavior. Could he be ratcheting up his weapons program because he's under threat from inside? Kim Jong-un has to be under enormous internal pressure from political elites and military elites. He has to demonstrate that he is a credible, strong, unifying leader. He's trying to do this by having unprecedented weapons. He's killing people. He's eliminating opponents. And that incurs a price. A top senator on the Intelligence Committee, asked by Wolf if Kim is rational, said unequivocally no. The kinds of things that he's doing, it, it, you, you'd, uh, you'd wonder whether they have a death wish. Most analysts won't go as far as saying Kim is crazy, but they worry that in his zeal to fight off his enemies and project his power, he'll miscalculate. He is potentially reckless. He is divorced from reality. Both of those attributes could contribute to war. So we don't have to make a judgment psychologically as to whether he's crazy or sane. He's dangerous. And tonight there is real concern among U.S. officials and analysts that another provocative move by Kim is imminent. Less than 48 hours away, the birthday of Kim's grandfather, Kim Il-sung, the founder of North Korea, who the young Kim is said to be obsessed with emulating. Analysts believe many of Kim's bold moves recently were designed to show North Koreans that he is of equal or greater stature than his grandfather. Wolf? Interesting. Uh, Brian, why is he so obsessed with his grandfather and not his father? It's a very good question, Wolf. I've asked this about analysts in recent weeks. Expert tell us, experts tell us, excuse me, his father, Kim Jong-il, the man in the middle here, well, he's associated with failure. The North Korean famine, the loss of Russia's huge support of North Korea, the collapse of the nuclear deal with the U.S., they all happened under his father, Kim Jong-il. A failure in so many eyes in North Korea. But the grandfather, Wolf, he is known for establishing North Korea, for attacking his enemies in South Korea, and for a time when North Koreans were actually better off economically than South Koreans decades ago, a time when North Koreans were not starving.